Hey fellow Nevillers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah, otherwise known as Neville O'Clock, because any hour on that clock is a fabulous time for Neville and his wonderful wisdom. Today I've got my nose up in Imagination Creates Reality. Date unknown, but there's a wonderful paragraph in here how Neville describes the way we've created our individual worlds. That's what I want to share with you today, my lovelies. Fully aware of how I've created my world and how I'm trying to change it into the most wonderful, noble, desirable world that devil, that devil, that Neville describes in his lectures. If you're new to Neville's works, it comes as a bit of a shock. One of those, a big wake up call, a slap I call it. A nice slap of course to self. Because we need to understand what we're doing, why we're seeing what we're seeing out in our 3D and where it comes from and how we've done it. So let's dive in fellow Nevelers. Neville. Neville explains a Bible quote which in turn explains what the word is, i.e. this word, the inner word that we use, is how we've created our world. Let me dive in my lovelies. So Neville says the word is thought or imagination. God imagined the world into being and became that which he conceived. My lovelies, we are all God. We are an emanation of the one God. He says, this is the principle on which all creation rests. Since God became man to give man life, man must contain that same creative principle. Creative principle, my lovelies. That's what we use when we go into our imagination. It creates our world. Now back to... Our world. Now back to Neville. He says, man must contain that creative principle within himself. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Now here's the part I wanted to share. He says, we have created our personal world through thought. Think about that, my lovelies. What we've been thinking is created out here. And I know it's true because I've had some thoughts and they've come to fruition, i.e. it's manifested in my 3D. And they weren't the best thoughts, but now I'm rectifying that. <laughs> Thank you, Neville. Okay, he says, we have created our personal world through thought. If you are experiencing lack, limitation, illness, disharmony, or any other unwanted condition, you have either consciously or unconsciously brought these conditions into your experience. I know at the beginning of this journey, it was quite a shock because I'm sure the majority of us go around thinking it was him, it was her, it was them. I didn't do it, they did it. Right here, in the Kindle, Neville says, nope, you didn't. You, they didn't, rather. You did it with your thoughts and your beliefs. Let's share a little more. He says, the majority of people do not realise that thought, belief and imagination has created their individual worlds.
world. Leave me a comment if this is a new concept to you, my love, as it takes a, get, a bit of getting used to, but we will, we have to. He says, there is no other cause for the conditions of your life. You may choose to disbelieve this, but whether you believe it or not, all that you behold in the outer world was conceived within your own consciousness prior to the experience of it. So there you go, point blank, black and white, we did it. All right, there's a little more here, my darlings. He says, that which you think about with feeling, that which you believe to be true, and that which you imagine yourself to be or to have is the cause of everything in your personal world. You may believe that there is some outer cause, i.e. he, she, them, or that. You may blame others for your problems. Yeah, sorry Neville, I did. You may believe that the events were wrought by fate or chance. Yes, Neville, I did that too. But if you are objective and observe your own beliefs and thought patterns, you will see that your world accurately reflects all that you believe to be true of yourself and others. Others. There is no one and nothing to change but the ideas from which you think. We think from ideas that we consent to as true and we imagine situations that match our beliefs. That's exactly what I've done. I'm not going to... I'm not going to share all my personal drama. Well, not today, some of it maybe. But that's just a real warning, or I see it as a warning when I first started the journey. It's like, oh my God, or oh my gosh. What have I thought about? What have I manifested out here in my 3D? It was solely me. Me, myself, and I did it. As in you, yourself, and you did it. All right, my lovelies, digest that one for the weekend. Now, how do we go about changing what we've got out here in our 3D if we don't like it? There's another dimension, my love, is called the fourth dimension. 4D is what we call it. 3D is out here where we live on the physical plane. 4D is that which you have in your consciousness. When you go into your realm of imagination, you shut out the senses, you close your eyes, i.e. your external senses, smelling, taste, eyesight and ears. You shut them out when you go into sat, which is state akin to sleep. And you go into your imagination realm and you create, i.e. you see, do, touch, smell and hear what it is you want to. For example, say you were going to get married, you could see your friends say, congratulations on your wonderful union, or congratulations on your brand new car, or congratulations on your big fat pay rise, something like that. That's what he calls sensory vividness, i.e. the tones of reality. What you would hear out here in 3D, you hear in here in your consciousness and add tones of reality, which is really tones of realism is probably another word we could use. So we 
could use. So Neville gives us the clues right here. One, we created it with our thoughts and beliefs and we added feeling to it, which is why in his other lectures he says be aware well, actually, I'm not sure if Neville... Yes, he does. He says when we read the newspapers back in his day or listen to the radio and a part of television, whatever you listen to, if you react to it, someone you don't even know, like a news item or a book or a magazine that you've read, if it creates a reaction in you, it's going to manifest out here in your 3D and generic man, i.e. all of us, we're very forgetful and we don't remember when we created something, but we did it by feeling and thought, i.e. with a book, someone told you something, something like that. You took it into your consciousness as a belief. Now, to change it, we go into our 4D realm, our fourth dimension, which is the real us. Our real eternal self is up in 4D, our imagination. And that's where we change it, my lovelies. So today's lesson, lecture, paragraph is what I wanted to share is how we've actually created out here. There's a few links down here on how we can use our imaginary, imaginary senses to change what we're seeing out here in 3D. Change it in 4D and it manifests out here in 3D when you keep it in your consciousness, i.e. you wear the feeling. So feel free, my lovelies, to leave a comment down there if there's anything you'd like to know or for me to discuss or a book or a lecture reference and I will gladly do it because I'm all about Neville up here. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll send you a big fat kiss because we're all about love up here and I will see you in the next video. I appreciate your time and attention. Please give the video the like or a thumbs up and a comment would be wonderful and I'll see you next time guys. Bye!